for structures of Earth, we begin with uh, layers of the Earth's atmosphere. So let's take a look, quick look here in that we have five layers that we need to be familiar with. We don't need to know a lot of the specific details, but generally we'd like to be familiar with uh, being able to answer a question about any of these five layers. So let's talk about each one here just briefly. Uh, the troposphere, uh, that is the layer that we live in, uh, and all weather happens in the troposphere. Uh, the second one, uh, the stratosphere, this is where the ozone layer is found. Uh, in the stratosphere, it actually gets warmer the higher you go, less turbulence. Commercial jets fly in the lower levels of the stratosphere. In the mesosphere, air is too thin to breathe. The coldest temperatures in the, all of the atmosphere are found here, usually about negative 90 degrees Celsius. High energy x-rays and UV radiation can be absorbed in the thermosphere, so it can be very hot. And in the exosphere, this is the highest level of the atmosphere. It's a very thin layer. So if you know all of that, you're ready to go on layers of Earth's atmosphere. We also would like to be familiar with crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. The crust is the outermost layer. There is oceanic crust, which is thinner, and continental crust, which is thicker. For the mantle, there's a lower mantle, lower mantle and upper mantle. Upper mantle is closer to the crust. The mantle is the thickest part of the earth. Highest temperatures are found within the mantle. Convection of the mantle is expressed at the surface through the motions of tectonic plates. And then finally we have the core. So there's the outer core and the inner core. The liquid outer core surrounds the inner core.